Extensive access question number one of lesson eight. Remove seven digits from the decimal and add dots or one dot above it to make it become the recurring decimal. Question number one: uh, What is the largest recurring decimal that can be made? So let's count it. That will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So when you remove seven digits, you can have five digits left, right? Um. So basically, if you can have nine after zero, that will be much bigger. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna delete that, that five, and we still need to remove two more, right? So if you want to remove two more, I like to remove this zero and this one, cause that way I will make this number, uh, as big as possible. So that becomes zero point nine one four five nine, and how can I make that into a recurring decimal, which is the largest? I can just add one dot here, cause that way. After this, I'll get a lot of nice. So that would be the biggest, and let's see uh, how can I get the smallest, right? If you want to get the smallest, still you have to remove, um, say seven digits, right? And uh, if you want to get the number as small as possible, you can uh, uh remain as many as zeros that you have. I can uh, delete this one, this one, this one, and this one. So that we're gonna have one, two, three zeros, and I uh, just keep. Two more digits, so I can just remove these three digits there. So this number will become zero point zero 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 one one. All right. And if you want to make this number into a recurring decimal and as as small as possible, you have to add these two dots to this two position, because that way, after this this one over here, you have three zeros. Now after that, so that will be the smallest. Way you can have to make a number as small as possible.